Okay, we've got the old shaft removed. There'll be a seal that needs to come off. Then we're gonna remove this nut. Left hand thread. This allows to take the hub and the blade off. There is a spacer in there that you need to keep track of. The old sleeve comes out. We're ready to go back with the new Eric sleeve. Remember the, the tang, the hole should be facing forward with the thick part towards the back of the drill. Once we get that installed, we're in reinstalling the forked handle. And I need a hammer. I don't know if you can get a shot at that or not. Maybe from above. You need to reinstall the fork handle so this doesn't rotate and turn on you while we're putting the hub and tightening the hub back on. So we'll have to come back and tight, put that nut on and tighten it down. But for filming purposes, we're gonna go reassemble the hub, put your spacer back on, reinstall the hub. And then remember, the hex part goes on first. Left-handed threads on the left-handed units. And that needs to be tightened to 100 foot-pounds on the big, on the big nut. So we we'll check it with our torque wrench. Yes, we got 100. The other half for the gauge wheel mounts too. We put a light coating of grease on the seal to keep it soft while we're installing it. And so remember on the other side where the fork goes, the tang, we want to go the opposite of that. So this will have the arm for the gauge wheel pointing towards the back of the drill. And this smaller nut torques to 120. There's 120. For those of you that like to use your Milwaukee half inch drive, I was set on the number two, which got us really close to our torquing, our desired torque of uh, 100 to 120. And the last step is just to shim your gauge wheel when you reinstall it, check, check your fit. The 
these tires have quite a bit of wear on them, so I'm going to go ahead and pull a shim before I go back on. There we go. Always want to go a full revolution. As you saw in the beginning, that's a little tight. But when we get to the other half of it, it spins free. So that is plenty tight. Depending on how, if it was a new tire, I would probably add a shim back in. But looking at the wear on these, I'm going to leave it with a snug fit like this. And we're done.